Do you struggle with burnout? Hi, I'm Paula Ram and I help direct sellers grow their businesses without leaving home. And today I want to talk to you about three keys you can use to help prevent burnout in your business. This is a common problem with many of us, especially us women who are balancing different priorities in our lives. We tend to get burned out. So I want to help you guys with some tips to prevent this. My first key for preventing burnout is to time block. Get a focused block of time on your daily schedule on your calendar that you know that this block of time is when you are going to get fully focused and during your fully focused time you're not going to work on whatever you feel like it or whatever happens to come across your path you're going to know what your one big goal is your one overarching goal that's actually going to move your business forward and you are going to do the top priorities, the most important things that are gonna move you toward achieving that goal. So often we get distracted by so many other things, especially if we put Facebook up or we check our email or something like that. We, it's so, there's so many distractions out there. So during your focused work time, You've got to know precisely before you even start what business activities you're going to work on during that time. And again, they're your most important activities that are going to get you toward your goal and not the easiest activities. So many times, like I want to do the easiest things first. It's so easy to check email or check Facebook or post something on Pinterest or something that's easy for me, right? but we don't want to do that those easiest things it's, i can very easily do pinterest before bed when i'm my mind is blown and tired i can easily do it then so i don't want to use my focus my time where my mind's the most sharp and I'm most fresh i want that time to be dedicated to my hardest things my most important things so that gets done first so even if it gets to the end of the day and you've only gotten one thing done you know that, that one thing was your most important thing. You can't go to bed feeling like a failure because you knew you know you get your you've gotten your one important thing done. Now compare this to like like business is just like housework, right? You know that it's like you intend to clean the kitchen sink, right? You go to clean the kitchen sink, but on the way you trip over some toys. So you go put the toys away in the toy box. When you're putting toys away in the toy box, you notice some dirty laundry. And when you Take the dirty laundry out and you go take it to the laundry room you realize there's some old laundry in the washing machine that hasn't been taken out in a couple of days so now you have to sanitize that load and then you forget you totally by then you forget what you're doing at all and the kitchen sink never gets cleaned right this is so like business we get distracted and go from one thing to another thing so this is why it's helpful to know what your one big goal is have that focus work time so that you do your most important things first. So this may be, you may need to take some time to see what all tasks you're spending on. Because I think we women think we have to do everything all at the same time, right? <laughs> or we see everything is equally important. I think it really helps to know that everything's not equally important. As much as we want to do it all, we can't do it all. We have to pick what are the most important things that are getting us towards our goal and do those things. And it's hard, it's hard for me to cut things off my list. I wanna get everything done on my list, even if it's only minorly important, but we have to get out of that mindset that we can't do everything. This goes back to Pareto's principle, right? The 80-20 rule, that 80% of the stuff you're doing is only giving you 20% of your results, right? But only 20% of what you're doing is giving you 80% of results in your business and life for, for anything, right? So if you can figure out what that 20% is, it's giving you the biggest results, the most sales, the most team members, the most advancement toward your goal. Focus on those things, have those things be in that focus block of time that you do first. The 80%, if you have time for those later, you can add them on if you want to, right? 
but focus on those 20% that's the most important in giving your results. Give yourself that time block, focused work time, and do the hardest thing first. Key number two is to set a time limit for projects, okay? So it may take you a week or two, whatever, during your focused time blocks, but you need to set yourself a deadline to get a certain project done. If you have an open-ended deadline for getting something done, it's probably not gonna get done. <laughs> or you're gonna dread it, you're gonna procrastinate, you're gonna decide if you feel like working on it that day or not, and you get decision fatigue, and it's draining. And it, like, there's actually a law called Parkinson's Law. And this shows that work expands to fill the time given it. The longer time you have for something, the more work it's gonna be, and it's gonna be done less effectively, right? So if you limit your time, you're gonna do a better job. It's gonna have a, actually a better result and less stress, less time spent on it. So it's better to limit yourself. And I saw, this is like an example of this, if you go back to high school, right? Term papers, right? The dreaded term paper, all the stress and the weight that those cause because it's all term you had to do it in. So it seemed like this huge task that you could never do. So you procrastinate or every day it would cause you decision fatigue. Should I work on my term paper today or not, right? I don't really want to. And then you end up taking the whole term to do it and the whole term was filled with stress thinking about this or trying not to think about it. And you probably even don't even do a great job at it. But let's say you said, okay, you have, a, you have two weeks to get this term paper done or one week. You could probably do, and a lot of kids did, did that. I never understood those other students who did that, but there were students who did it all in like one week, right? How did they do it? And that was probably a great job, right? Because they limited themselves. They did a great job, they got it done, but they didn't have all that stress and all that time, right? That, it, that could have been spent on it, right? Another example of this is like this big course I've been working on. I've been working on probably over a year, but since there's no deadline, other things come in and take the place of my work time for that or my thought for that. And I just, it's just easy to put it off, even though that should be my one main goal, right? All these other things come in or these opportunities come in that I like, oh, oh, I'll, have to, oh, I'll do that, right? And I don't do that because I, that just seems like this big project. But if I just said, okay, this week we're gonna get this done, if I could see this ending time, right, it's actually less stress, right? Because you know at the end of that week it's gonna be done. You don't have to think about it anymore and you're gonna do a good job on it. And on the other hand, right, other example, the opposite side, was recently I stumbled on this really awesome strategy for direct sellers to have parties to sell parties through email and it was working really well and the owner of our company asked if I could do a training on it make a course on it and I'm like sure right so and there was a deadline can you train on this Monday night right it was just like a few days away it was like three days three days away I had to do this training on this new method so everything else got dropped everything else I had planned to do got dropped because I was working on this training for the company that I was going to do on this new method so everything got poured into that and then I'm like this is working so well I need to get a course out on this as soon as possible because it's so effective so we started pouring everything into then making this course we did a course for the company and we did a course generic course for any direct seller on how to do these email parties and we got it done in record time. For less than two weeks, we had two courses done and the company training. It was crazy. If you had told me before that I had to do all that in that length of time, I probably would have freaked out, right? But it got done and it was, the quality is fine, right? Could it be better? Of course, right? But here, I still don't have the big course done, my comprehensive course done that I've been working on because there's no deadline, right? There's nothing out there that's saying, okay, get this done in one week. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next, right? I'm gonna next, I'm gonna say, okay, this big course has to be done by this date, and we're gonna drop everything else and focus on that thing. So don't give yourself open-ended things. Stress causing, draining, right? And it may not even get done, and it won't get even get done as well as if you give yourself a time limit. 
So that's key number two, give yourself a time limit. Then the third thing is take breaks. You've got to rest. This is where so many of us, right, we feel like we have to be working 24 seven because there's so much to do. You have a family, you have a business, you have all these things. There's always something to do. Your, your to-do list is never clear. That's impossible, right? When you're a mom, your to-do list is never clear, right? So you feel like you, you feel guilty by taking a break because there's always something you could be doing that's more productive, right? So this has gotten me into close to burnout, burnout, close to burnout, past burnout, more times than I care to admit because I would just work constantly and never give myself that time to rest. And if you think about it, when do you get those most creative breakthroughs, those great ideas that actually turn your business around or your, or your family around, even more importantly, right? It's when you're resting. Think about it, when do you get your best ideas, right? It's maybe taking a bubble bath, or when you're going for a walk, or when, for me, it's when I'm gardening, right? Or anything where you're just resting and not thinking, right? So we need those. You can get this breakthroughs, idea that's gonna re revolutionize your business, your family, in this hour time, whatever, that would have taken you a couple weeks to come up with or never come up with by working constantly. Think, I mean, really, when have you gotten this amazing, awesome breakthrough, creative idea while working on your to-do list or on your computer working feverishly to get everything done? Probably never, almost never. Create it. Your brain needs time to just rest. It'll make those connections for you. It'll solve problems. It'll come up with these amazing ideas to make things easier or more effective. It will revolutionize your, your business, your family life, your marriage, your parenting, everything, because you're having time to think. Your brain needs time to rest, to think, to meditate, to, right? It's just like, it needs that. And you'll be thankful. So I remember at one point, my husband and I, you know, we moved down to, to Southwest Florida five years ago. We love it down here. Um, we love the blue skies and sunshine, being able to grow things, being near the beach. But we were finding, we were going months without even going to the beach once. I'm like, when was the last time we went to the beach? You know, I don't know several months ago. It's like, this is ridiculous, right? We move all down this way and we never go to the beach. So it's like, okay, let's make a discipline, make ourselves go to the beach one day a month. Just go for the day, one day a month right? Just make ourselves go. And some months it's like, it's been really hard because we're so busy. It's like, we can't afford to take a day off. We've got all these, all these deadlines and things we need to do, right? We really need to work on that and that needs done. And there, you know, times we have not done it, right? And we regretted it. But like, there has never been a single time that we've gone for the day to our favorite beach that we've regretted it. And every single time we've gotten some type of creative breakthrough, whether it's in our business or with dealing with our family or marriage or friendships or something important like that, what they never would have come otherwise without just time, just downtime to relax and think <laughs> and just have a break. And you guys may not have a beach near you, but you might love gardening. You might just go like going for a walk or taking a bubble bath or anything where you just take a break, let your mind rest. And it's just amazing what that will do for your mental state, for your clarity, for your ideas, for your business. Just, it's just powerful. And we tend to discount that because it doesn't seem like this specific practical thing we can do because we can't really check it off our list. Well, you could put it on your list so you can check it off if that helps you <laughs> put it on your list. It's something you have to do. Like I said, we had to make it a, a discipline, a priority to do it because it's so easy to say, well, that's not really important. That's kind of selfish. It's not really doing anything, but it really is. It really is. Okay, so if you guys impl implement these three things in your life, it's going to be life-changing for your business, your mental state, your emotional state, everything to prevent burnout. One, time block, have that focus time where you're working toward that one goal and your most important things. Two, time limit, limit yourself, give yourself deadlines to get these things 
done and done well and off your plate and onto the next thing. And three, give yourself breaks so you can have those creative breakthroughs. All right, guys, I'm excited for you. And here's the 10 times in your business, right? Bye.